Hey guys, welcome back to some brand new arc here on Jurassic Park, and today we're hunting the di Dino Succus, Dino Dino Suchus. It's a giant crocodile. It's just a giant crocodile. <laughs> it's like a different version of a Sarko. It's part of the Jurassic Park mod. We're gonna be hunting this thing here today, and we have a brand new like. I, they're, I guess they're binoculars. They're like tech binoculars, which we're getting in the extinction thing DLC. Look at this guy. It's freaking thermal and everything. It looks so cool. But yeah, we're getting these, what I'm holding right now, in extinction. Uh, oh man. Wait, I wonder if I aim it directly onto him and then do that. Can I like see his level without having to fully zoom? I don't think so. All right, whatever. But yeah, we're getting these with extinction, which is pretty cool. But they've been in the dev kit for like years, like honestly years. Like, these have been in mods for years at this point. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, I finally actually made a pair. I saw a couple comments saying that I should make a pair. They're part of the mod, and they're essentially just an upgraded spyglass, but you're not really able to use them when you're mounted on creatures. Not the, like, proper way, though. Like, I can use the spyglass like this, but I can't use the uh, binoculars. Now, what I can do is I could do this, and then go like that, and then go like... No, I, that doesn't work either. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, if I do it this way, does it work? No, never mind. All right, whatever. So yeah, let's try and tame this guy. Let's try and tame him. So I don't have my frog with me. I just spotted this thing on the way around the place. I've just been trying to collect up a couple different bits of DNA. I've gotten a couple different ones. I've got some of this, some T-Rex as well. I thought there was something around me there for a sec. But uh, yeah, I want to try and tame this thing. And I didn't really want to go all the way back for the frog. I just figured we might, we might just use the trank darts. Could be a thing. But yeah, these things move pretty slow on land, so I should be able to knock them out relatively easy. Let's just keep shooting at them. And I don't really think there's too many creatures around the area. I was killing... Oh, he's getting pretty close. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, he's getting really close. I'm okay, though. There's not too many creatures around the area because I've been killing, but... uh. We just gotta watch out for raptors spawning in or something like that, or just appearing out of nowhere. Oh man, he's already running from me. This is crazy. This freaking trank rifle is ridiculous. Alright, let's just reload it. I wanna try and get close and just see if we can... Wait, does this show Torpor, I wonder? No, it doesn't. Alright. Let's try and get close and check this guy out. Gotta get closer. <laughs> Uh, all right, he's yeah, he's almost out. I'd say he's gonna drop any second now. Oh! Ow! Oh no! I can't get away. Run free! I'm dead. <laughs> I didn't realize he'd be able to get me. <laughs> Crap! All right, we're pretty close. My wyvern hopefully will not kill him. I think it's on passive. Hopefully it's on passive. Uh, where do I need to go? This way, I think. Yeah, we're like right over there. Ah, well that was a fail. <laughs> I got like super close to him. That was really dumb. Although I did kind of need to see his torpor. And I don't have that stupid s super spyglass mod on here. That cheaty mod. All right, just makes arc easy mode. Let's see. Hopefully he's not on neutral. I really hope he's not on neutral. All right, I could probably save some stam for a sec and then swim across here. And we can see whether or not our wyvern is gonna eat this thing. Hopefully he doesn't. Oh my God, all right. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't gonna be like another fail because I don't really want another one of those. We had a fail in the last episode and I don't want another. Hopefully, by the way, as well, the, the audio should sound slightly better. Um, I've put up quite a lot of the, the acoustic panels, which is like this foam stuff. You've seen it somewhere else. I guarantee everybody knows what it looks like. Um, but I put up a bunch of that in the office. Uh, I still need to do a little bit more, but gotta wait for more of it to expand out before I can do that. Where is he? Uh, let's just keep running in this direction here. But, um, yeah, you can check out a picture of that on my Instagram if you're curious. It looks pretty cool. I got, like, white and blue. And uh, yeah, I'm really digging it so far. It's it's really awesome. There we go. Wyvern's just sitting there, so maybe he didn't kill him. Yeah, we're good. He's not even fighting him. 
All right, well, besides the giant freaking crocodile sitting beside our stuff, I think he's out, though. Is he out, or is he just... No, he's not out. Okay, he's he's there. <laughs> Run. Oh, I feel like he's faster than I am. Oh, I'm out of stam. Oh, he's gonna eat my face. Maybe not. Okay, let's grab our stuff. Yeah, he just broke all of my armor. That's great, dude, thank you. What was this torpor at again? Was, did I read the things wrong? Was that at, like almost down or I don't even know. I thought he was almost down. Maybe I'm completely wrong and I just read the wrong value. <laughs> Is he down? Like what's happening? Oh, dude, f you just faked me out again. <laughs> Oh my god, no. <laughs> Alright, screw you. You're going down, buddy. Gotta space them out a little bit so I don't accidentally knock him. This is a lot easier with the frog. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be dumb again. Uh, okay, no. I, yeah, I read the wrong value. Oh! No, 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 oh, oh, okay, we're okay, I don't know how I made it out of that, but I did, okay, we're good, we're good, whoo, yeah, I read the wrong value, I'm a dummy, okay, let's just keep running after him here, are they not even hitting? Okay, he's pretty fast. He does these little charges as well, so... I've got an amazing name for this thing as well. Even though I usually kind of like a couple name suggestions, what I will do is we'll name this one what I was thinking, and then we'll name another one what you guys want so leave some name suggestions for one of these giant crocs in the comments down below um my name kind of suits a male more but i'm gonna use it on this one anyway because this one's quite a high level it's the one that 68 which is third highest level it could be go down buddy I feel like this rifle's gonna break any second now. Hey! He's down. Alright. Whew. Okay, that was actually... That was pretty difficult. Like, you've got a lot of torpor. Freaking 40,000. That is crazy. Alright, I still have this mutton. I'm just gonna assume that you're gonna eat that. But the name I have for this one kind of relates to a real-life crocodile. Um, I believe it is a crocodile, not an alligator. I'm pretty, like, I'm like 90% sure it's a crocodile. It's called Gustav, and it's like a crocodile that was in somewhere in Africa, I do believe. And it it was, like, responsible for the deaths of, like, tons of people in this, like, area. I think it was a river or a lake or something. I don't think it was a lake, actually. I think it was a river. But it was responsible for the deaths of like tons and tons of people. And it's there's even a movie about this crocodile. It's called like Primeval or something like that. Um, and that has that guy that was in Prison Break. The guy that played Lincoln, I think was his name. Um, he's also in a couple more shows. He's in like the Flash universe shows right now. He plays that fire guy. I'm not sure if he's still alive. God, that Legends of Tomorrow show is terrible. I couldn't even sit through the first season. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so... I want to name it Gustav because it's a giant crocodile, and that was a giant crocodile. I think it was it was supposedly like one of the biggest crocodiles I think ever kind of found. I assume I don't know. Like there's a lot of like amazing things about this crocodile, but it killed tons of people. So I feel like we should name our one Gustav. But uh, yeah, you can like Google him if you want. It's like really crazy. Like I I learned about him a couple years ago, so I probably don't have all the facts straight, but. Um, yeah, like, Google him. It's crazy. <laughs> anyway, we gotta wait for this thing to wake up, so we will be back in a bit. And, uh, I just, I wanna just mention something, because I keep getting these weird comments of people being like, that it's force tamed. I'm gonna, like, sit and wait for this thing to wake up, and I'm gonna bring it back to base before I bring you guys back, because there's really no point of me doing that. But, just a little bit of a heads up, if I was to force tame something, it wouldn't say 
like right here, tamed by tribe of Syntac, it would just say tamed by Syntac. Now just pay close attention to what this says later on in the video. I'm not even gonna point it out, but pay close attention to what that says because it's going to say tamed by tribal syntax because what the hell is the point of force taming it? I already have it out. I keep getting weird comments of that. It's like, I feel like there's just people who don't understand the game or something like that. I don't know, but I'm gonna just sit here and watch it eat and then I'm gonna bring you guys back later so I don't waste your time and waste my time. But uh, yeah, no force taming going on here. Some creatures do not need saddles though. I don't know if this thing needs a saddle, which we should probably look up actually. Dying, I assume it might take a Sarko saddle. Let's just learn that really quick. But um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like the people that are that are saying that the things after I come back are force tamed are just idiots and they don't understand how the game works. But yeah. <laughs> I have no reason to force tape. It's already down, and I wouldn't do that anyway, so yeah, just yeah, go go troll somewhere else. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. It's probably easier if I just search Sarko. Do I even craft a Sarko? Okay, you do craft it in your inventory. Get one of those going. Sweet. So I actually looked it up and it says that it doesn't need a saddle, but apparently it does because, I mean, it won't let me ride it yet, so it's probably going to take a Sarko saddle. Yeah, there we go. So obviously that document's just a little bit false. But here it is in all of its glory. Oh, wow. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> I'm like way above this thing, but it looks really, really awesome. It's freaking giant though, like... How big is this compared to a normal Sarko? I want to know. I feel like it's a lot bigger. But uh, let's go ahead and name it. Um, hmm. Here we go. So, Gustav. So, I actually looked up this dude. Um, Gustav was in the River Nile. And he is thought to be responsible for the deaths of 300 people. Last spotted in like 2015. So,. They haven't seen him in a few years, doesn't mean he's dead, but he could he could well be dead. <laughs> oh, there's a freaking Alpha Megalodon over there. Can I fight these guys, I wonder? Oh yeah, I'm actually doing some decent damage. I thought I only did 128 for a second there because I was uh I was getting that 128 on the Megalodon, but that's just because he's apparently alpha boosted. This is like pretty difficult to fight in. <laughs> yeah, this is like kind of difficult to fight as. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, where is that Megalodoodle? Come here, buddy. Let's just go straight after him. Take him out. Make everything else easier to fight. Come on, buddy. So, I've never been like the biggest fan of Sarko's in Ark, but hopefully this thing is... Is gonna be a little bit better than Sarko's. I think since Sarko's got their TLC, they're a lot better, but I'm still not a huge, huge fan of them. And it's also like the camera on this guy is like super difficult to use. I'm just gonna go fully out like this so we can actually see what's happening properly. I'm just gonna keep attacking as well. I wonder, do I have any other attacks? C just makes me go down. Okay. He's fighting all kinds of sharks here. Oh, am I dying? Oh, I'm actually taking some freaking damage here, dude. Holy crap. Alright, come closer to the shore, maybe. Uh, crap. We can't get them to, like, sit in the shallows, could we? Dude, it's so hard to fight on this guy. No, I don't want to fly forward like that. <laughs> Damn it. I don't want to... Yeah. It's so weird. Alright, let's just take out the shark here. Get some meat to try and kill our, our dude. Okay. A nice little bit of fish meat. We gotta heal him up though. He is in serious pain. I feel like we can go after that Megalodoodle though. Where is he? There he is. Hey, buddy. Something else is doing more damage. I feel like it's the Manta. Yeah, that Manta is doing more damage than this frickin' Alpha Megalodon. Oh, and that guy there as well. Is that a purple one? Those little sharks, what are they called again? 
the anvil shark dudes. That thing is strong. Yeah, I really can't fight those things for much longer here. We can do this. It's gonna help, but not a huge amount. Come on, kill him. Secure the kill. He's almost dead, come on. Let me also kill this Manta. How are, how are they able to hit me and I'm not able to hit them at all? <laughs> no, let me kill him. Come on. Oh, I'm taking some serious damage. I need to, I need to get out. Yeah, we need to just get out of the water. This is not good. Stupid. All right, let's turn around here. <gasps> this might be perfect. No, he moved. Of course he moved. All right, fish meat is terrible for healing. Do I have any normal meat? I don't want to use this. Oh, you know what? My wyvern has tons of meat on him. Let's go to him and, and grab some of that. Can I walk up this here? No, okay. Oh my god, Gustav, you beast. But you're also terrible. <laughs> you just stay right there. Let's go over here and just grab some meat. I think I have a 2,000 stack on this dude. And I also get to fix up my armor at some point. Uh, yeah, let's just grab that. And just shove this into the giant crocodile get them get them to start eating a little bit I feel like the the size of them they should do a little bit more damage considering but that's just my opinion they should also probably have a little bit more health is he eating like is that actually working oh yeah we were just getting that weird glitch oh my god this guy took so much damage it's that little anvil shark though, that thing freaking wrecked me. Okay, so right click, it does like a bit of a charge. That's interesting, we'll check out the attacks properly in a second, but let's try and... I can't spot the Megalodon, so let's just sit here for the moment and just heal him. Get him up to like 2k and then just have a peek into the water. We'll do this as well. Okay, Megalodon's over there. So is that little shark. These anvil sharks are crazy though. Look at that, 79 damage. Like, he only has to hit me like just 20 something times and then I'm just dead. This Megalodon's following as well, which is good. Come on. Right, where's he gone now? Just follow him. Oh, did he come to me? No, he's going that way now. Come on, Megalodon. Come on. Let me kill you. <laughs> this is gonna give me tons of levels, that's why I want it. No! Okay, I got him, I got him. Alright, let's just get out of here. Let's just get to the shore and we can do some healing and then just fight things on the land because it's gonna be a little bit more fun. Whew, all right, 16 levels. Would you look at that? Let's do that and then that. Oh, damn, that's good. Actually, you didn't have a better hatchet, so that's gonna be nice. Uh, which pick is better? That yeah, pick's a lot better. Although this one here is pretty good. Um, I'll leave that. I'll take that. Cool. All right. Well, I think I'm just going to sit here and heal this thing just so we can actually do some more stuff in this video. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay. So we are back. What do I want to pump? Sure. Some more movement speed. All right. So, um, I guess let's try and eat some stuff here. I don't really know if there is anything. Let's do the little bit of a charge here. There's a snake over there. Oh, Paraceratherium, perfect. I could do this little charge for a decent amount of time. I'm gonna stop it myself there, but I, I don't know how much longer I could have kept that up. Can I do the... How do I do like the, the grab and spin attack? I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if that's a thing with this creature. 
By the way, my FOV is maxed. I wonder what would happen if I was like... Oh wow, yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh, I gotta fix this. Get off of me, please. Just do a charge. Can I do the quick turnaround? I don't think I can. No, I cannot. Dude, that is stupid. Bugs wreck Sarkas sometimes. <laughs> if you can't get the drop on them, I'm gonna just have to come out like this. There we go. We're good. I hate how dumb fighting bugs is. Alright, let's fight this parser. Come here, buddy. Don't walk behind me. You know I can't hit you there. <laughs> Big meanie. Alright, let's do a charge. Can I do it? I'm out of stamina. Never mind. Can I, like, regen some stamina? That would be great. There we go. Sweet. Alright, come on. Yeah. Get this dude. Alright, well, I mean, this creature's kind of basic on land, I feel. I thought it would be a little bit more in depth. I don't know why. I just kind of figured I'd have the roll attack as well. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pump some stam because that seems to be an issue. Uh, let me just feed him for the moment. All right, we're good. Let's go ahead and eat this piggy. So yeah, he's kind of basic. Yeah, it's like he's not fast, so you're not really going to be able to catch anything that can run away from you. Or is it even going to be worth it to try and catch them? Probably not. What the hell is that? Why is there a giga over here? Is that a giga? Pretty sure that was a giga. Let's run this way. Just kind of get a little bit closer. Why is there a Giga though? That really should not be here. Oh, that's a really cool looking Rex. Dude, that thing is so cool. Look at those colors. That's crazy. Yeah, I feel like Gigas don't spawn over here, but okay. Let's get into the water. Keep running, keep running. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> you can't get me. Yeah, he's he's not gonna be able to do anything to me. I'm good, but like that was kinda scary. Oh that Rex looks big. Is that one of those cool ones? No. There's like a, a different type of Rex. I've never actually seen one. Um they have like really cool moves and stuff. That's one of those crazy Mosa thingies. And that's a bunch of manta. But can we fight them? Probably not. <laughs> They're gonna do so much damage to me. Oh yeah, look at this. I'm doing like zero damage or something somehow. Oh no! Gustav, no! <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm completely stuck. I can't get out. No. Gustav's dead. <gasps> we might be able to get away. We might be able to get away. Oh, the clutch! <laughs> I They just drained me of like 10k health, almost. Alright, Gustav, you are apparently really effective at killing in real life, but you're terrible in ARC. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was, that was intense. I know Manta Packs are like, dangerous, but that was, that was kind of ridiculous. I couldn't even hit them. That's crazy. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for today. I don't want to have to do another, like, five minutes sit down of just holding down one button to heal. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. If you have enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Stupid. Get, get off of me. <laughs> I'm trying to do an outro, dude. Get away. <clears throat>
if you have enjoyed the video, oh, I can't even run. <laughs> Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you guys want to see more like this. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just covered in blood. Come back. I can't even kill that guy. <laughs> Giant crocodiles suck.